start by the uh, procusing of uh, Shaheen and Gordon. Sure. Mr. Uh, Gordon kind of breezed over the cases. Turns out they represent, represented me for approximately nine years. And when that representation ended is when I caught them extorting me for 100000 That's the reason why. So let's just look at the cases. Mr. Uh, Gordon said, in his own words, an array of cases. Well, let's look at the cases that they were on. How about the IRS? He forgot to mention that. It's still outstanding and I'm still being leveraged through corruption. And yes, I do believe this judges that are corrupt, law enforcement is corrupt. I didn't say all, but I believe that they are. The DRA, he forgot to mention the DRA, they were part of that too. And I'm still being leveraged by that. The vision of banks, right? Three bogus consent orders that they did draw back for my silence. I want to tell you, Your Honor, I've refused multiple, multiple officers offers for a settlement that would include my silence in all these matters prior to this. Right. 50 million, by the way. This extortion, for instance, they forgot to mention the signs. The extortion came from the signs. Which is a hundred thousand, which is why I put Bill Shaheen on there. But Shaheen and Gordon, I also filed complaints with the Department of Justice against Shaheen and Gordon, against these individuals that they are well aware of. So, so, um, how is I guess what I'm not entirely clear on from your perspective is how is all of the representations you're talking about related or substantially related to? the defamation claims that the plaintiffs have asserted against you in this Well, case. I, I'll get on to the defamation claims because I have evidence and proof. But as far as the recusal, they've been working together. In fact, Ron Connor, I have evidence that I brought a couple of pieces that suggest that they've been working criminally together, Shaheen and Aganos. Now, what also I'll say? Are you gonna, do you want to submit something? In? We can submit those. Well, now's your time. Since we're at All right, but listen, I'll, I'll explain. For instance, the recusal. Now, ready? The signs. They extorted me for a hundred thousand dollars. I have a check that says that fact that they had the city cash and the city manager said they got. It. So, in other words, there is corruption, and these are the people who protect the corrupt. See, this is how it works. Are we supposed to ignore the fact that Bill Shaheen's wife is the senator and that he's not the, the, the uh, uh, running Hillary's campaign in the state of New Hampshire? I mean, this is the political protection that we're saying here. I had no motivation to bring this forward. I didn't know the plaintiffs, but I did get the evidence. And what you're seeing in me bringing that forward, everything you said that I stand by as being the truth. And I'm getting more and more evidence. So as far as the recusal, they all represented my controller, Lisa Tracy. They leveraged her with her three daughters in a molestation case to destroy and extort evidence from me. This is a fact. I've been dealing with this for five years on the sign, and they show up. So if they can shut me down, they're improving their own situations and protecting criminals. OK, so on. So in other words, know this, a varied of cases. They've been on the sign before they were. Now let's get to the plaintiffs. What you've seen in there was me talking to a union leader reporter with a case number that I got from the arresting state police officer. 
James Keenan. He turned around and told me about a roadblock on Hookson in, on the highway. He told me about Silly Street, Weston Avenue, Agonos' properties, where they arrested him, drugs on the property, money on the property. They went to his bank. They got coal bars. Now, you ready? They want to turn around and say, well, that account number doesn't exist, except for we turned around and did a 91A to the State Police Narcotics Department on two different occasions and got a response that said that they had and found the file. Okay? So that is a matter of fact what I'm saying. Now, what I'm going to ask this court in a form of discovery is from here, I'm going to the U.S. Attorney's Office and the DEA, which is why I wanted to be here from the beginning, with four witnesses that are going to require protection. Now, I have other ones, like the state trooper and the arrested officers. Now, we have that. But I want to bring them forward. You're going to find out that they've been working dealing fentanyl. I'm going to tell you how they got it. I'm going to tell you how they move it. Right? I'm going to give you those people. So in other words, this is why I've come here. This is why I've come forward. There's no motivation other than doing what's right. And I do believe there's corruption. And I believe there's been corruption in this courthouse that I'm willing to prove. And one of the witnesses I have against Shaheen was one of the own attorneys that were working for them. Now I'm saying this is evidence and I am swearing under oath that I have those people and they are with the Department of Justice and there is a grand jury going on that will verify what I said. You heard them say about the Banking Commission, I stand exactly by that. And what I'm going to do is file that protection, go to the, uh, the U.S. Attorney, which I have res reservations, but and to the DEA. They will have these witnesses. They are prepared to come forwards. They will talk to you about machine guns and moving drugs. They will even talk to you about the dis uh, distribution. They will talk to you about the prices and how they get it from New York and comes into Lawrence, Massachusetts. They will talk to you about how it comes from Boston and how they deliver it here. They'll talk to you about motorcycles. They'll talk to you about a relationship of that one of those motorcycle people that went to the police and they were turned around and, and, and stopped. But they'll tell you they witnessed machine guns and they'll tell you they witnessed heroin so in other words, I am in complete confidence. What they're trying to do by shut this down, why? Listen, when we were in the first hearing, there was more cameras and press than people. So I'm talking to show innocence afterwards? Can, can I just bring you back for a moment to the disqualification of the law firm, Shane and Gordon? Can you, um, I'm still trying to understand how, I know they represented you, it sounds like, for a long time on a number of different matters. I'm, I'm still trying to understand how, from your perspective, that creates a conflict in this. They know service. every weakness that I have. They know issues with banking. They know issues with the IRS. They are involved with them. Those pieces and pieces are being leveraged now. This is part of the leverage plan. This is part of the orchestration of that leverage and for my silence. Right? So it is absolutely related. They are they are amongst Alex Walker and Shaheen and Gordon and McClain are the principals to this, which is why they show up now. Listen, Bill Shaheen comes and he goes. Is he on the case? Did he file an appearance or didn't he? Or is it just for show? You see? That's what we deal with. And what I'm telling you, I'm getting more and more evidence. It's an avalanche of evidence. There's no question about this. And I'm telling you, there's a grand jury going on in this state right now off of everything that I'm saying now. And I'd like to think that I had something to do with it. <clears throat> there you are. All right. Um, so I will take these issues under advisement and issue a written <coughs> order on all of the outstanding motions. Thank you. Just go into one of those side rooms.
Get your father. Yep. Yep. That's all I hope. My apologies. <laughs>